In the time it takes to spring off a high board and plunge into the fluid state of the universe, I lift a glass of whiskey to my lips. My focused intent takes 1.42 seconds. I am immersed in whiskey. Aromas swirl around my face. A golden halo encircles me. Drinking whiskey, we drink the world. Earth, air, fire and water come together, creating something greater than the sum of their parts. A dram is a map, a map of the past, leading us to appreciate in the present. I think of barley fields in Isla, first a piercing verdant green thrusting through dark, damp soil. Later, as days pass, vegetal turns cereal and a golden haze suffuses the land. Hello, uh, we're down here at the Octomore Spring, which is about two miles outside the village. First probably discovered around 1824 when the village was built and the water was uh, piped down to the village till 1960. And then uh, a filter station appeared, the burn was dammed and uh, the well was no more. Till we're glad he came along in 2000 and wanted pure spring water to reduce the whiskey and also uh, about five, six years ago for the gin. The water itself is uh, filtered through the second oldest rocks in Europe, the nice rocks, and it's the only place in Isla that this water is available. I think um, the rinse was detached from the rest of Isla millions of years ago, and I think the archaeologists have said that there's three fault lines through these rocks and all account they uh, appear down at this spring. The water is I take up two or three times a week. It's tested at the distillery. Uh, as far as I know, it's, it's full of silicas. It's extremely soft and it's got all the other minerals which are coming through the rocks from who knows where. So you start with 10 million yeast cells at zero time. At the end of the fermentation, you may have made 10 times more yeast than what you started with. You know, in the modern world, you can learn about anything, anywhere. But some learning is academic, and some becomes a life experience. You can learn Spanish in Bristol. You can read about Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King in Adelaide. And you can taste and learn about Scotch whisky as far away as Hokkaido. But there is nothing, nothing like becoming a small part of the story. Understanding the process and the people in an ancient birthplace where Scotch whisky is inherent in the history, life and culture of the folk who make it and the place where it is made. That's the Isla Whisky Academy. That's what the trick is, the damper that it is, the more smoke it will create, 
and um, that is important in getting uh, the phenols into each grain. I go for bourbons because I just like that um, that clean, crisp note. Uh, sherry is great, don't get me wrong, uh, uh, and it works very well if you get it right, but it's more difficult to work with. So you just tell from the car. Yeah, it's color. Color. That is so pretty. The Isla Whiskey Academy gave me the chance to do something really special and build a cask and it was so much fun but it is a lot harder than what the Cooper makes it look like so when I did manage I was very proud of myself. You, you've got the right idea. <laughs> start to go back to these types of flavours nice you know, fruit flavours coming through you know, nice floral notes in this one as well and a bit of peat that kind of more balance in the flavours and then when you go into the twenties you start getting like tropical fruit notes into a toast but anyway what, how it goes is on yonder hill there stood a coup it's not there now must have moved <laughs> <laughs> It's the connection to the people and the place that I enjoyed, and that's the thing that made it really incredible. The Academy is the great connector of it all. The people that Rachel knows, the tours that uh, she's able to organise, it's not just something that's the run of the mill. Um, and that's the important part. It's massively genuine, really authentic, and it comes from a place um, that of love uh, and of love of Isla as well. I've never met a stranger and if someone is going to light in front of me long enough, I'm going to tell them about Scotland and I'm going to tell them about the Scotch whiskey. But the education was unbelievable. The experiences and being able to see what we saw at distilleries were far beyond anything that I could, and I'm pretty good at this, but <laughs> that I could put together for myself or, or anyone else. Those there's such value in your class and in this academy is beyond measure, I believe. Okay. Especially when I've seen what other things are out there. <laughs> I had a toast because I'm gonna be a boohooing when we get on the plane. <laughs> and just know, don't be sad, it's over. Be happy that it happened. Slanja y'all. Slanja y'all. Moonlight on the water, sunlight in the sky. 
One is real and one's a dream Of times that passed me by I seen so clear a vision And I was coming home to you I saw my life as it might have been I saw those dreams come true Half Hebridean I've spent half my life just passing through Half Hebridean Now I'm coming home Sometimes hard the living Cold and cruel the winter wind Soft and warm the springtime sun A spark as life begins